highest level of service is that of a personal attendant. Uh, a personal attendant is like uh, uh, a personal servant of a person. So a personal attendant must be attentive, attentive to the need of the master, whatever is the mood, whatever is the requirement. Right? And it can change, it can break out of the routine, it can just go uh, in any direction and the attendant is is with it, right? is already a step ahead as soon as there's an indication that it goes in a certain direction, the attendant already. Yeah. Huh? As soon as it looks like we're going to the beach, the attendant takes out the beach bag and starts putting everything inside, you know, the beach ball and the little shovels and whatever else you might, uh, you might be needing there. Uh, <coughs> That is attendant. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had a servant named Govinda, and that servant Govinda was so expert that he would uh, already know what Lord Chaitanya wanted, even without saying. Uh, Lord Chaitanya had to look only once, you know, sort of a look in the direction of the door handle of the window, and psh, immediately he'd open the window. Right? And of course, he was all, himself, anyway, watching the temperature and he's watching if the Lord, if he saw some perspiration appearing from, then he would, okay, make sure that it got a little cool like this. He was very sensitive to the needs of the Lord. And he was a personal attendant, a servant who would serve without uh, any thought of himself, but fully absorbed in pleasing the Lord. This is the prerequisite. This is the door. The door to the innermost chamber is that door of the personal attendant. No one who is, uh, is not fully focused on Krishna in that mood of personal attendant can enter into that door. That is the condition. Um, just general service, not enough. One must really become such personal attendant. <clears throat>